How's it going everyone and welcome to this video right here I'm sat here before you with a lovely fresh head shave courtesy of the home easy grooming kit LK 2800 This thing right here was picked up off Amazon for just under 30 pounds. You see I get a lot of questions about electric head shavers quite a lot of guys have been using those clippers but they just want that extra step that extra closeness of their head shaves but they don't want to jump straight into the razor head shavings well an electric head shaver is great for that and we featured some good ones here on the channel before my best of the bunch is of course the remington rx5 now there are of course other options but a lot of them get pretty pricey so what about those cheap head shavers that you've probably seen on amazon just like here the home easy grooming kit so if you jump on amazon you type in head shaver here you are look the one that i've got here is rated very highly and you're gonna see a lot of different products come up like this they're all looking very very similar the same sort of five bladed design and they all come with these various different attachments so there's loads of different options here ranging from under 30 pounds this one here look under 20 pounds and these are the expensive ones look you've got the skull shaver here the pitbull gold pro which we've done a review on almost a hundred pounds for this guy they even have a premium product here the platinum pro which tops out at 200 pounds so if you want to make that jump from buzzing to using one of these electric head shavers, are these cheap options any good? Well, I put the Home Easy Grooming Gear LK2800 to the test, and here's how I found it. Now, straight out of the box, guys, you've got these various different attachments. It, of course, comes with your instructions. It comes with various different things, like this weird facial cleaning brush, they call it. It comes with a nose trimmer, and it also comes with a sideburns knife, or what we would call a sort of blade attachment. Now, initially, I thought, hey, this is going to be really good maybe you haven't shaved your head for two weeks and you could probably use this attachment to take down that hair close enough to get a nice cut the different attachments work really easy you simply pull the old one off put the new one on it couldn't be simpler comes also with a charging cable to note the usb charging cable you are going to need to find an adapter if you want to plug it into the wall once you pop that thing on charge you've got the red light there to show that it's charging and when it's fully charged it's going to give you the green light apparently it charges nice and quickly and you're going to get about 50 minutes of use off of a single charge now it's got something that they call hyperflex technology based Basically, the head moves you can see that at the neck it twists in all directions and also those individual blades bend back and forward they sort of cups your head it allows you to get all over those bumps and it gives those blades a nice amount of contact with the head's surface one thing I want to quickly point out is that you can probably bunch all of these cheap head shavers in the same basket right they're gonna be very very similar and that's because most of them have come from China off Alibaba someone's put a name to it and they've sold it they're made very similarly all the same different attachments you're going to get pretty similar performance between these things we can jump on Alibaba here look and type in head shavers and you can see here look all the ones that we've seen off Amazon here look you can buy 40 of these for ten dollars a piece and if we go back onto Amazon there's the exact one there look selling for about 35 pounds there it is there there it is there and literally someone's just put their logo on it look and make a few quid off it let's try and find the home easy one there it is look the exact one that i'm using home easy this one is unbranded 11 dollars here if i buy 48 of them that's the exact one that i've bought off amazon for 29.99 front of the box here quite clearly a mistake with these individual attachments being labeled wrong there the brush being labeled sideburns knife facial cleaning brush with a nose trimmer and nose and ear trimmer that clearly doesn't look like a nose and ear trimmer but hey where the product originated from is not our concern there is some good stuff that comes out there good quality stuff what we want to know is how does this product perform so we jumped into the head shave about four days growth here on the old noggin and this is important to note because a lot of these electric head shavers are designed to use after about two days growth but i wanted to give it a good hard test so here we are with four days of growth so we jumped in right jumped straight in there it sounded nice and powerful powerful of course it was fully charged and we started to cut now it cut pretty decently it felt comfortable on my head and of course it's really really easy to use the one thing i did know and i've mentioned this in other videos 
when you go with the back and forth, back and forth sort of technique, you do get these lines where the blades don't overlap and you get those miss spots. Now with these electric head shavers, you really have to keep going over the same areas quite a few times. And if it's not super, super sharp blades, this really can lead to quite a lot of irritation. Now in the parts where I've not really got much hair left, of course, pretty much all on the top of my head, it was no problem. It cut the hair really, really easily and I was quite impressed. Also, considering the hair was quite long at the back of the neck and at the sides, you can see there, it's actually cutting really, really well. The main problems I had with this head shaver is that I had to go over these areas, the areas where there's quite a lot of hair, the hair's quite thick still. Just loads of times I had to go over it again and again to get a really close shave. However, once I'd gone over it enough, I did get a really, really close shave, you know? The length of this hair is really compressed comparable to all of the other electric head shavers that I've used. You would be pretty satisfied with the result here. It's really nice and short, especially if you're making that jump from the hair clippers down to something like the electric razor because you want a shorter cut. This absolutely will do it. Now, being a cheaper product, one thing I would be concerned with is how long are these blades going to stay sharp? It's all well and good, right? Me testing it out straight out of the box. The blades are at their sharpest, so it's going to get good performance. But one month down the line, three months down the line, is it still going to be nice and sharp? Or am I going to have to keep going over it loads and loads of times? But overall, I got a decent head shave with it. Not too much irritation despite having to go over it loads. And of course, we finished off the head shave with some bold head butter, Bold Cafe's own. And I got a pretty decent result there, you can see. From the before and after, it's absolutely done the job. Now, it took me a little while. This probably took me about eight minutes to get the finished product, the head shave, compared to something like four to five minutes with the RX-5 from Remington. But again, that's still an investment of like 60 pounds. If you can get something like this between 30 and 20 pounds and you want to know, are these razors good? Do I want to go shorter and continue to use something like this? Maybe you want to test it out. Do you like this before you make a big investment on one of the other products? I would say absolutely go for it. And to be quite honest, this compared to something that is three times the price is pretty damn comparable. The only thing I'm not sure, of course, is longevity, right? Three months down the line, how is this product gonna be? But if you wanna try one of these electric head shavers, overall, I'd say it's a pretty good shout to grab one of these cheap ones and give it a go. Now, just for fun, I had a quick go with some of the other attachments, and to be honest, they're no good, really. The original one that I tried to buzz my hair down a bit shorter, if you had really long hair, it would work, you know? It seemed pretty powerful. Is it gonna last long again? Not really, it didn't feel quality. The comb attachments that it comes with also don't really fit properly, so you probably won't use those. The brush, I don't really understand what that is. It says it's charcoal infused, but I'm pretty confident it isn't. I really don't know what the use is for that. Maybe if you want to massage your face or shine up your head like I sort of did. But yeah, it doesn't. I can't really see the use in that. And the nose trimmer, I kind of broke it, to be honest, at first. I figured it out in the end. It got it working again. But it was kind of weird. And a dedicated nose trimmer or some scissors or whatever is probably better for that. But overall, guys, this cheap head shaver was not a disaster. Like I said, if you want to make the switch down to getting a much closer shave, but you're not sure, is it going to make much difference between the no guard? Or should I just go for the razor shave? If you're not quite sure, hey, Try something like this, see how you get on. It's gonna be able to give you that length that you want. You can feel the comfort out a little bit. Are you gonna enjoy shaving one of these electric head shavers in the long run? And then if you think the answer is yes, look for a Remington if you can find one for sale and invest in something a bit more expensive and go for it. It's all about finding the products that work best for you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it was a little bit helpful. Maybe you've been unsure, should I buy one of these things? Are they any good? There's loads to choose from here. They're all the same, to be honest, about the same price point. You're gonna get the same sort of thing. As always, guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and interesting. We'll be back soon with more reviews like this and also a video on how to keep that head safe in the sun. I, of course, will see you in the next video. Goodbye. For you, I run the world, I run the miles.